Hello everyone, welcome you to my video. In today's video, we will see what is probability density function. So, which is also called as PDF in short. I hope uh, you must have come across this term many times. So, uh, in this video, we will see what is probability density function with an example. Okay. So, what is probability density function? It is a function that defines the relationship between a continuous variable and its probability. So it also represents the density of a continuous random variable lying between a specific range of values. Okay, so let's understand this with an example. So let's assume that a burger company claims that they make burgers of 125 grams. One twenty-five grams of burger. Okay, so they say that they make burgers uh, with an average weight of one twenty-five grams, and let's assume they make around five hundred burgers in a day. Okay, so if I try to collect data for one day, okay, so let's assume that I have collected the data for one day. So weight of the burger on a particular day, let's assume that we have a burger with 125.5 gram. So one burger with 124 gram. So when they say 125 gram as an average, so we cannot expect all the burgers to be of same size, right? So there will be some distortion, right? So let's assume we have burgers with different weights, but it's closer to 125. So you have many values, okay? So we have the weight of 500 burgers that was made in a particular day. Now, if I wanted to have a probability density function for this data, let's assume that we have a curve like this. So this is called as the probability density function curve. So here we have taken a continuous variable weight, okay? So as the average is 125, so you will have the average here, which is 125 grams. And let's assume that we have 125.5, 126, so similarly here, you have 124.5, 124, 123, okay. So let's assume that, let's make it as 123. So what is this probability density function curve tells us? So basically, it gives you the probability of each data point to occur. So here, this curve tells us what will be the probability of occurrence for each data point or each observation for any continuous random variable, okay? So to understand it in a better way, let me tell you that. So the average weight they have given us 125, right? If you see in this curve, this 125 has the highest probability. So this curve tells you the probability. So So from this, we can understand that the probability 
of 125 to occur is 0 0.8. Let's assume that this is around 0 0.8, which means that there are there is 80 percentage of chance for any burger to be in this weight, right? So let's take this 124. So if you see, it has less probability, right? It means that we have burgers with 124 grams weight, you know, very, very less uh, burgers, right? So very less burgers will have chance to be of 124 gram, right? Similarly, if you see 126.5, there's very, very less chance to be in 126.5 gram. So here, if you see on the y-axis, you have the probability. So it so this PDF gives you the probability of each data point to occur. So we can say that most of the burgers will be of 125 gram weight, right? And you can see the next highest probability is for 125.5 or 124.5. So you can see burgers with 124.5 and 125.5 weight, right? But there is very less chance for a burger to be of 123 or 126.5 grams, right? So as you can see, when I collected the data, I have most of the observations closer to this average weight. And hence you can see the highest probability is for 125 gram, right? So this probability density function gives you the probability of each observation of a random variable. It tells you where we have highest probability, where we have lesser probability. So when we say we have lesser probability, it tells that we will have this particular value very less time or it occurs very rarely, right? Okay, so the probability density function gives you the relationship between the observation of a random variable and a continuous random variable and its probability, okay? I hope this is clear. Thank you.